Early voting is underway here in Texas with the March 1st primary less than a week away. Candidates for Tom Green County Judge are making their last rounds, shaking hands, knocking on doors, and asking for votes. Here at KCN News, we reached out to each of the candidates asking that they come by our studio to tell you, our viewers, more about why they deserve to serve in one of the most important positions in local government. Tonight, we introduce you to Joe High. Mr. Joe Hyde, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, you're running for Tom Green County Judge I am. this year. Tell us a little bit more about what inspired you to, to aspire to this office <laughs> and, uh, and, and a little bit more about yourself in person. Well, I've always been, a, I mean, I was in the military and then I'm, I was an entrepreneur after that. And, you know, entrepreneurially, you look at projects you're going to do. I, my gut started feeling bad about the economy. And I was thinking, do I want to be, if, this, if, this, if our country's going to go down, do I want to be out here reporting about it? Or do I want to be in the ring doing something about it? The, there's two thing, two nails that hit me hit on the head, and they're not related to the county, so it's kind of hard to correlate. But you, I, I think most people understand the uh, Haitian uh, crisis, the, the illegals in, uh, in Del Rio, and also um, to see Afghanistan go down like it did. I'm like, we need to have some people who are going to be strong leaders get into every level of government. And hold this government, hold the state, and you know, hold this country up. So you were referencing your your military background. I'm assuming that that sort of inborn desire to serve your community and you know desire to serve your country played into the decision to, to run for Tom Green County Judge. Tell us a little bit more. Once you once you jumped uh, jumped into the service above self, and that's that's really what the core value of, of serving the military is: is service above self. I mean, it goes back to you know um, you know the Bible. You know, people serving serving their country, um, willing to put their life on the line for your country. I, I look at I look at things like the county government as a, as a as a wonderful institution. And I look at the uh, public servants in the county government as they really want to serve the, the community. And I think the county judge position can be can act as a bridge to protect those guys that work for our county. You know, your deputies at the sheriff's office, the jailers, I mean, even the clerk in the, uh, in, in the license plate office, you know. You can act as a bridge to protect them and take care of them and also take care of the taxpayer. So you kind of have to have the credibility with both sides, uh, and it's a balance. And I, I think I can do that. I mean, I know I can do that. I mean, I, I think I've done harder things before in my life. You are on record as having recently said that if you are the Tom Green County judge and you can get the county commissioners bought in, then you can get a lot done. So I was curious, uh, of, of, with some little follow-up on that, what exactly do you mean by getting the county commissioners bought in? And if elected to Tom Green County judge, what would your method of getting them bought in be? And then what would your, you know, your next okay. steps be? That's a long question, but anyway, I'll try to answer it. If we can just promise to lower the tax rate, every year for four years. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. I know it's symbolic, but that starts something. And if I can win on that, then maybe we'll have someone run for school board who's going to run on that same thing. And maybe we'll have some people run for city council who will do the same thing. What distinguishes you from all the other candidates that are running for, you know, Tom Green County judge and, and what makes you the best fit for, and, you know, as you might put it, manager of all of these issues? There are people in my life since I've been here who gave me a chance and they were for the little guy. And it's now my turn to find those people out there who are smart, who can do great things for the community, and I can stand up for them. Fantastic. Mr. Hyde, thank you for joining us. Thank you.